The mission of Portland Community Church is to lead people into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. We want to help people that know little or nothing about Jesus find a relationship with Him. 50% of the people in the Portland metropolitan area have no religious affiliation whatsoever. They're not members of any church or synagogue. On any given Sunday, 80% of the people in the Portland metropolitan area are not in church. So there are a lot of people for us to reach. But this is a tough culture uh, in which to reach people. One of our highest values in our culture is tolerance. You let me live the way I want to live and I'll let you live the way you want to live. You let me believe what I want to believe and I'll let you believe what you want to believe. Try getting in somebody's face and telling them you need to believe in Jesus or you're going to hell. Just see how that goes over. I mean, most people today don't even believe in hell. So many Christians today have given up on this whole idea of reaching other people. But we as a church refuse to give up. There has got to be a way to reach people with the news that God loves them and sent His Son to die for them. And so we try to help people uh, build relationships uh, with other people. We think one of the best ways to reach people is by serving uh, needs of people in the community and building relationships with people. We want people to take time to get to know their neighbors and friends and uh, work associates and, and classmates uh, toward the end that they might have an opportunity to share Jesus with them and maybe invite them to church. I sat down with a couple who uh, was getting married uh, some time back and I learned that uh, the gal was uh, committed to Christ and her faith was very important to her, but the guy had no background. He had not grown up in the church, his family had not taken him, and he knew very little about God and Christ. And so I challenged him to read some things and, and consider his relationship with Christ. And then over the course of the conversation, I learned that he loved water skiing. Well, I love water skiing, and so I invited him out. And I went out with him two or three times and took him down through the slalom course. And uh, he met several other guys uh, from our church that, that love uh, wakeboarding and water skiing. And he had a great time. And then in the premarital counseling, I asked him if he felt like he wanted to commit his life to Christ. And he says, yeah, let's do it. And I'm convinced that that time in the boat uh, going out with other guys played a significant role in him giving his life to Christ. So we encourage our people to build relationships with other people. We don't want our people in the church seven days a week in meetings and committees and we want them to take time to spend building relationships with other people. We call that relational evangelism which is our second uh, core value.